Hi, I'm Mickey Barr, and today I'm going to be building a pad for Thai massage or partner massage. These are the raw materials. I have two yoga mats, I have two pillows, I have two blankets. This one's a small, kind of thin blanket, and this one is a thick comforter style blanket. And then these are called yoga rugs um, or a yoga towel. And not everybody will have these, but it's essentially a kind of dense cotton woven rug. And a large towel could also work. So if you have a beach towel, you could use two of those. And the way we're going to be building this is from the most dense to the least dense. So I'm going to start with the yoga mats. I'm going to lay a yoga mat down. And then I'm going to lay the other yoga mat on top of it. And it's important as you're building it to make sure that it's straight and if you have uh, floorboards on a hardwood floor you can line it up on the lines of the floor so that you know that it's even. So I'm going to stack my two mats on top of each other. However, if you have three or four yoga mats, you could put two of them side by side and then one in the middle and it would make your pad a bit bigger and it would provide more knee support for the person giving. Uh, but we have two and this will work for today. Now I'm going to take these yoga rugs. This one's actually a little smaller and thinner and denser, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. And again, a large towel could work for this. It just has to be as big or slightly bigger than the yoga mat. And then this yoga rug is a bit thicker. Each time I make a layer, I tend to smooth it out. That way you don't have any wrinkles or bumps in it, because that won't be comfortable for the receiver to lay on. And then I'm going to take this blanket, and as you can see it's kind of thin, and at this point we maybe have, oh, a half inch of padding here. I'm going to put this blanket on top. And this blanket's a little bigger than the yoga mat, so now the nest starts to expand a little bit. For the person who's giving, this is going to provide a little bit of padding underneath their knees. But for Thai massage, there's a lot of time spent on the hands and knees. Smooth up the wrinkles. So you want to have a little bit of support underneath. Finally, I'm going to take the comforter style blanket. It will be folded in half. And that will be our top layer. And now this pad is over an inch thick. And because it has this kind of feather top comforter on top, it's very comfortable just to, despite the bottom being made out of yoga mats. And so once your massage nest is complete, you can invite your partner over, and they can inspect the nest. Looks great. And if they lay down, you can start to use the pillows. If they're laying on their back, you want to put a pillow underneath their knees. That takes pressure out of the lower back and hips. And then this pillow could be for me so that I can kneel on it and could start doing shoulder and neck massage. So I hope you enjoyed nest building. Give it a try and trade some massage with your partner.